Hello and welcome to episode 8 of my Setting Up Todoist series. In today's episode I want to show you how you can use filters to really help you focus in on the work that you want to do at any particular moment in time. Now, before we start, I should point out that this is a premium user's function feature, and that means that if you pay your $28, you can then access this feature. If you haven't paid your $28, the filters button will be there, but it will be greyed out and you will not be able to use it. Okay, so let's get started. Now, before we set up... Um, filters, what I should point out is Todoist has a wonderful uh, web page that you can go to called Filters. I will put a link to this in the notes section and you can also see their quick help video here which will give you an idea of how you can set up uh, some basic filters. Basically as I went through these and as I've set these up in my Todoist I have come up with some pretty unique ways of using uh, to do it, uh, but first I want to show you. Uh, I need to set up a few little tasks so that uh, my main filter you can see. So, uh, record to doists filters video. I'm going to add that task, and we will uh, ask the misses. snacks. Okay, and then I'm going to change one of my work ones to give it, uh, okay, clean up old email and archive. Let's give that a date of today, and then you'll see what I mean. And unfortunately, maybe, let's see, email Bob, let's see if I can schedule that for a day before. All right, we can. Okay, so what we now have is three or four tasks that uh, I can show you. Um, so let's start with the filter that I I swear by. This is a filter I use at the end of every day to see what I've missed, what I can do, what I cannot do, and if I need to forward, uh, postpone a, project, a task until a later date. This one I call my dashboard. So let's give it the name dashboard. And to set up a query, this is basically the parameters of your filter, p double dot inbox, because I want to see my inbox, comma, today, because I want to see any remaining tasks today, and overdue, and add the filter. Okay, so now what you'll see here is I've got both items I just put into my inbox, record to do his filters video, ask the missus to buy more doggy snacks. I've got today in here, and I've got my overdue ones two days ago. Now if I wanted to, I could change this around. So let's say, for example, I want to see... Um, my overdue tasks first. So let's go into here and go overdue, comma, today, comma, and then p double dot inbox. And what you'll see is this will change order. So now I have two days ago, uh, today, and p inbox. This really is a matter of choice. I'm used to seeing my inbox at the top today and then overdue, although to be honest I very very rarely have any overdue tasks. So these are really really useful for um, seeing what you have left at the end of a day. A superb uh, filter, so just to remind you if you want to use this filter, the filter uh, code if you like or query as Todoist calls it is overdue comma and overdue is two words today, comma, and small p double dot inbox. Really, really useful. Now, let's say, as you know, we've been using labels, and if I go back into labels, we've got phone, computer, email, home, tickler, and thinking. Now, a really good filter here um, might be um, today and tickler. So if I go into here, so we call this tickler, and let's say I want to create a theory, so today, comma, and then at 
Oh, sorry, we're doing the pro uh, we're doing the project. So p double dot tickler, and it needs to be spelled exactly how you've got it. So, I have here uh, I have a tickler to consider joining this class on the twenty fourth of February, and I have clean up old email. Now, this you can fil filter for today and tickler, which is what I really want to see. So let's edit this filter, and instead of a comma, let's just use the letter and, the ampersand, and now you'll see that no tasks match my query. Now if we go back to my tickler file, there is nothing that's coming here on, until the 24th of February. So that filter would be empty today. Uh, another one that you could do is computer. Now let's say, imagine that you have to work at your computer for most of the day. So a really good filter to create is one called computer. And again, you might just want to create, create the label at computer, uh, comma, today. So all the tasks that you have to do today that involves your computer. Add the filter, and here they are. These are all the tasks that I have to do today. Um, which are at the computer. Sorry, I realise I've just made another mistake because I'm using the comma. Uh, what I want really is and today, save, and then you'll see that I have one here for today, which is clean up computer. So just to show you that one, the, the, let, the ampersand that I'm using means that both of these uh, parameters have to be met, so they have to be at the computer and at and today. Uh, one more to show you. Uh, really, this is up to you how you set up your filters, but I will show you one more, which is a really useful one. Um, I call this one. You can call this one priority. Prior. No, I can't spell. You can call this one priority, and it would be. P1 for priority 1 and today. And you can add that as a filter. Again, I don't actually have any P1s, but I could show you that. I could change that today. Uh, we have one over... Oh, there's a good point, actually. Maybe with the priority one, you should actually add in overdue. Today, comma, overdue. Now, see what happens here. That task that's overdue is two days late now. Um, has come up because it's got a red flag. So if I go back to my projects, I can actually just change a couple of these. Um, let's go into my work and we'll flag email finished. So we flag that as red. Let's change the date here to today. And we're going to give this one a flag of red, priority one. And now we'll go back into our filters and have a look at. Um, boop, 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 go into my filters, I look at priority, and, ah, because it's this one's got the date of today, so, wait a minute, we'll go back into there, and I added this as a flag, so if I add this in now as today, what you'll find is, if I go back into filters, that priority has come up here. So, with your filters, they are really useful if you're working at a specific spot and you really, really want to focus in on some work. Set them up as many as you want, as much as you want, or as many as you want. But as I say, the best place to go to get more information on these is the Todoist website. It's fantastic. It's full of all the codes that you need. They're really, really easy to follow. And if you're having any difficulties, the video is very good too. So that's it on filters. If you have any questions or you'd like me to cover any other item in Todoist, please leave a note in the comment section and I will get round to it. But that's it for episode 8. Thanks for watching and see you next time.